The Lost Kitchen in the Town of Freedom is in high demand, and starting now, you can enter a lottery to try to win a meal there. It used to be that every spring, the phones there would be overwhelmed by people itching for a reservation, and the season would fill up in less than a day. But a few years ago, Lost Kitchen founder and chef Erin French had a brainstorm. She would take reservations by postcard. So you can mail your postcard now, and starting in the month of April, the Lost Kitchen will pick postcards at random to award a reservation. I spoke to Erin in 2018. She shared some of the messages they received. The moment I read about Erin and her Airstream kitchen, it became a goal of mine to dine at TLK with my partner in life, Charlie. We loved experiencing Maine, especially the local food scene. But sadly, he passed away two and a half years ago to esophageal cancer. So cruel to the one who loved food and wine, but in his passing, I vowed to live life fully in his honor, to take advantage of every new experience that comes my way. And if chosen, I would raise a glass to Erin for her creativity and to Charlie, who inspires me every day. Yeah, that one's a hard one. <sighs> Some tell a story of desperation. People who were just trying to like get the love of their life back and she said that the only way that she would see him again was if he got a reservation to the Lost Kitchen because she knew it was nearly impossible. From the serious to the cards that simply catch the eye whether you want them to or not. Here they are, they must be out for Halloween and um, they're dressed as an oyster oh. and they're holding their baby which is the pearl. And it says, we're new parents and we love local food, good times, beautiful stories, and the sense of place. The Lost Kitchen is a story to tell our son, Oli, and our adventure to get there. Not to mention, we desperately need a night out as a couple to reconnect, so please pick us. <laughs> so this woman, she was in an antique store up in um, Bangor, and she was just looking for a 3 by 5 card because she didn't have one. And she was digging through, and she happened to find a postcard from Freedom, Maine, that is dated 1918 and has all of the original note. And this is a note to Josie, to dear Josie. And I mean, it's got the whole story of like looking for a new pair of suspenders. And it's, <laughs> this is the real deal. This is from 1918. I love this so much. So uh, no pressure. Right. No pressure. A lot Come to up live with up a great to. Great story. The Lost Kitchen keeps every postcard that's sent in. So if you're not selected in the initial round. It could be pulled later in the season to fill a cancellation. So there is hope if you don't hear immediately in April. I'm, I, the mad, I can try to imagine all the stories she hears. The a cases lot. and the pleas a and lot. some emotion in there. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely some begging mm. too, which she responds less to, I oh, think. Okay, that's fair. <laughs>